Hello and welcome to yet another interesting topic for the day. Then the topic is what if I tell you that it's resume. As soon as you hear this name, you immediately go back to that physical resume format. All you want to know is what is that is clickable meaning what is that is going to click immediately with the HR and after receiving your resume he is going to call you so whatever it takes in terms of knowing resume or physical resume I think we immediately go stick to a format and start circulating it to all when it comes to employment I think another question and the main question ever remains is to be employable is most important than get an employment and what I'm talking about is not resume today but video resume or a digital resume now this is the topic being covered by skill influencer Manish Nair so welcome to the most most important topic we all know that for past one year this physical resume has gotten changed to the digital platform or the online platform which is called as digital resume or video resume now the effect of offline to online is also called as domino effect because everything has gotten changed from from the conventional medium to the unconventional one which is online every industry that you see is online nowadays it is selling like a hot cake and people are all sticking to one platform and that is internet so taking a clue from the domino effect I think the the shift has come from the physical or the conventional to the online what has become from a physical resume that is most desired as an impressive resume to an impactful one because the online demands it the conventional medium as I have been telling you is is an effective medium but it has changed to most effective one and which is called as the digital profile of yours and hence digital resume what digital resume also gives you is our video resume gives you is a more comprehensive way to express yourself and maybe cover your entire profile at one go this is all about the backdrop of what video resume or digital resume is all about the emergence of it the importance of it now we'll get to know more closer of what with video resume or digital resume should be but before let's define this uh, typically video resume is a way for job seekers to showcase their abilities beyond the capabilities of a traditional paper resume the video resume allows prospective employers to see and hear applicants and get a feel for how applicants present themselves so it's more or less the same look and feel but here you are able to see the candidate how the candidate is behaving communicating and the overall aura that a candidate can possibly create in that one to two minute of video resume or digital resume a video resume is a brief account of a job applicants professional experience qualifications and interest so three things become very very important to get featured in your video resume or digital resume and that is professional experience qualification and interest submitted to a prospective employer in a video form or a format so there is a definitely form and format to video resume what it should have how it is what will be integrated in a good effective video resume I think we need to talk that so after defining what video resume or digital resume let's move on to discuss more about why video resume or digital resume at this point in time 98% of the employers wish to see a video resume or a digital resume whereas if you look at the pre pandemic time only 17% of the total hiring 
was based on video resume more specific if i talk about those could be fashion industry or a modeling industry which is a part of fashion industry creative field maybe content writers or the creative writers those were the one who used to have actors specifically used to have their video resume which is also called as a is a digital profile which they used to build or a, or a portfolio which they used to build and send it across to the concern industry but today the time has changed 98% of the employers have shown their wish shown their inclination to go through a video resume rather than a conventional paper resume what it also means at the same time is the 20 seconds which an hr takes to go through a physical resume and decide whether this profile is good bad or ugly now gets elongated time to buy for each candidate which would last from 1.3 minutes to 2 minutes as video or digital resume so there's a definite advantage of portraying yourself projecting yourself more professionally and impactfully in the form of video resume now this gives an everlasting impression and it gives a consolidated one as well because you are immediately taken seriously or otherwise it is also as good as answering the first question which invariably lands to a candidate or an employee or a prospective job aspirant is introduce yourself tell me something about yourself so the first comforting question which you can answer very effectively at all point of time you are able to answer it and in the form of video resume which you are building it and sending it across so all is the comparative that we are trying to bring to you from a physical conventional resume to a digital or a video resume at this point let's try and understand how to build a good video resume or a digital resume always ensure that you have a light good light background or a plain background before standing in front of it ensure that it is well illuminated so there should be a good illumination which is falling on that light or plain background from the opposite side so that you as a character is clearly visible from the from the camera that you are shooting it should be no nonsense area meaning it should be definitely away from crowd noise and as far as possible the most quietest hour of the day please record it while you are making it in a standing position record while standing do not sit and record because you are showing your modesty your generosity your humility your groundedness by asking a job and not demanding by sitting in a in a so called you know executive chair and making it more sounding like that you do not require that kind of a job right always be in a asking mode and standing would be a better choice always adhere to some kind of a formal wear so a tie and maybe a suit right or a formal suit or a business suit for a girl candidate as well as a boy candidate formals is a must let it be a natural body language everyone has their own body language so let's stick to it let's not behave something called as a you know learned or imbibed body language from whatever you read or you see let it be absolutely natural because every individual has its has his or her own natural body language so keep it very very straight but while standing ensure that you stand on both the feet and look straight on the camera smile your gesture should complement your posture eye contact is what i have made it very very clear whenever you are looking look at the camera and speak very important is when you are vocal when you are 
seen on camera and recording your vocal should be as high as possible in the sense it should reach the maximum rate of speech should be minimum diction or pronunciation should be as near as possible to that word that you are using and of course when uh, i keep saying this every word and sentence has emotion so emote it with your voice modulation so four important aspect of presentation while you are standing and recording in front of a camera is that your vocal should be high enough to reach the camera if you're not using any kind of a mic then i think your vocal should work here rate of speech the rate of speech should be medium paced so that every word that you speak out should be heard with the right diction which will help you in pronouncing the word correctly and if every word has emotion i think you need to have the right kind of voice dynamics in terms of touching that intonation with the correct voice modulation so this is what of a video resume or a digital resume should be necessarily looked at and what should be incorporated in your video resume or digital resume is of course your name if your name has any meaning you can very well utter if your name signifies anything i need i think you should be telling it along with your name so that there is some kind of a registration in introducing yourself because it's a first impression that you're trying to create second point to be incorporated is the journey of academics i think the journey of academics is where you have started from schooling to junior schooling a junior college to your senior college i think it's a beautiful journey that you have undergone so put it nicely now a lot of students these days have internship any kind of internship which has uh, given you some learning so the outcome of internship is most important so please project your internship that you are very close to you know being job ready and that's the reason you are making this video resume to go and knock the right door different projects that students make i think again highlight the project and again the outcome of the project most important is what you have done you have done but what is that you derive from what you what you have done is the most most important thing journey of academics might have given you a maturity evolving from a solitude to a team player to get discipline to uh, learning how to learn and you know evolve from mugging up to having a proper understanding to gradually working on the practice part of your academics and and then growing further internship would allow you to Uh, to think of how you have grown in terms of your planning organizing focusing resourcefulness and ultimately achieving result with the team projects are more of higher order skills where you are you know uh, s- sourcing for funds maybe sourcing for avenues of where to do this project and maybe have a better uh problem solving and maybe uh decision making or maybe interpersonal skills exploiting it to the hilt and completing your project thereby you know that is what it should be uh, highlighted now you have studied in you know two or three different institute please also highlight what you have learned from your institute uh, your institute must have given you opportunities to shape your own personality in terms of a better communicator or a listener or maybe uh, you know getting uh, some unique qualities of mixing with people knowing them uh, n- not minding what kind of different personality traits exist and still be part of the team right and becoming very receptive also uh socializing skills and all so whatever that your institute might have given you as an opportunity uh, be it sports or any kind of a workshop or a seminar or a music performing art i think you need to essentially uh, put it subtly with your institute takeaway 
a very important aspect of your video resume should be your career objective what is that you are trying to achieve what is that you have as an objective or a goal set for yourself which is also called as a professional goal so you need to spell it out not more than two or three sentence but do it subtly and what if i ask you that you do an animation or make it make your digital resume or video resume more interactive if you can have a certain element of animation or transitions overlays with us you know light music play music being played on the background i think it will all augur well for your video resume so what is to be incorporated are is is the name journey of academics internship projects institute take away and career objective along with the animation that you can do possibly with the help of lot of apps which are available now will stand out will clearly stand out from the rest so if you're making seriously if you want your video resume to stand out from the others then i think please take a note here very very carefully so what is the content part and how it is to be developed uh, i think clearly stated here in this particular slide of video resume or digital resume let's also now since it's a presentation so you need to plan your script so have your script very very subtle on all the five parameters that i've shown in my earlier slide prepare that with a lot of practice and then present so a uh, four piece of presentation exist here and persist here when you are recording your video resume right but see the unseen part and the unseen part is many a time we do not plan the script we try to be impromptu it is good but many do not have that kind of an art or a skill so plan your script prepare it practice it to the best and present it so while i give you uh the background of plan prepare practice and present the four piece of presentation i would certainly stress upon record top three video resume of yours or digital resume of yours top three so you should essentially be recording the best three of of yours prioritize them as per your top three skill sets that means so every time when you are going for a recording the three best video resume should have three different skills of yours in case if you do not have then whatever that you have uh, you know shift it accordingly and make three best video resume and keep it prepared so that you send it accordingly matching to the specific job description that you receive so let's say if you are a mechanical engineer or even if you are an engineer of any domain or a science student or a commerce student or an arts or a medical student i think you need to have three different skill sets which you aspire to take up right and match it with the job description and keep it prepared send the one which is matching the job description send, send the one from the three which is matching the job description very specific to the recruiter and be prepared that you will receive a call for sure never miss on a physical resume as long as you are making a video resume attach the physical resume and have a great cover letter of three different paragraphs i think we have already discussed in one of our video of uh, when we have covered this cover letter very specific topic which is there in our uh, our channel right so have a great cover letter and talk very adjuvant uh, very adjuvant to both meaning that your cover letter should be a separate communication or an add on or an adjuvant communication to your physical resume and video resume so whatever you have talked in your physical resume might get feature but it's more of a video resume that you are covering in your digital resume but what gets uncovered should be communicated in your cover letter so that your communication looks a comprehensive one and may be looked at 360 degree of what your profile looks like so everything comes as a comprehensive professional communication from your side with physical resume digital resume which you are doing it because now it is needed and a good cover note which becomes a body text part of your email and then 
you can attach these two and send it across so be your best always believe in yourself and be yourself is what i am trying to come to uh, when i have reached my last slide i would only say is once you are you have known what is good for you i think you are good to go so once good to know about the video resume i think you are good to go shoot it physical resume video resume and a great cover letter which becomes a body part of your email everything accounted three good things and now since uh, the uh, recruiters are welcoming digital resume you should make the best usage of it reach in time so that your entire exercise of finding your dream job is not that far away prepare yourself to the best and be in vogue in fashion with what the industry demand digital resume is one of them for sure best wishes thank you